It's 8 o'clock on Wednesday. I finished this vlog on Sunday evening with the full intentions of uploading it to the site on Monday. Unfortunately, when I woke up on Monday, I had just been hit with some virus that has had me on my butt for the past 48 hours. You can probably still hear it in my voice. And while it's been miserable, feeling almost back to normal, still a little bit of congestion and a cough, but I'm almost there. While I've had time to think about the vlog being sick, I've realized that these vlogs are just entirely too long. Some of these are 15, 20 minutes. Nobody wants to hear that. I'm not good at this, so I'm gonna try to condense these things to under 10 minutes. My idea is seven minutes, eight minutes. Hit you with what's important about some of the things I'm talking about, and you guys can get on with your day and I can do the same. So I've got to get upstairs because I've been missing for 48 hours, but let's see how this goes and let me know what you think. So today's topic and what something I've wanted to go over that I talked about in my Yoder video was my thermometers. So when I first got the Yoder, I knew with my inexperience with smoking meats and cooking on a smoker that I wanted a I wanted a good thermometer that would give me the ability to monitor the temperature. To start, I bought a I bought the iGrill 2, which I've read a lot of reviews on. It seemed like a good um, thermometer in that it's it has Bluetooth capabilities. It's made by Weber and it has an app associated with it. So for the briskets and the pulled pork and some of the, the chicken that I've done, I would throw the meat thermometer in there. And I had an ambient thermometer, so the Yoder is great because it monitors temperature. Um, but that's on the left side of the grill. So on the right side of the grill, I'd put the ambient temperature so I knew kind of throughout the grill what the temperature looked like. I'd throw these meat thermometers in and it worked great. The app would show me what the temperature was. I, I really liked it for being new to this whole world. It, I had zero complaints. But as I've gotten into it a little bit more, what I was finding is because it works on Bluetooth, I had to be near the device. So I have this, this iGrill 2 sitting on my smoker. Meat thermometers are connected to it, running into the grill. My phone or my device had to be within 20 to 30 feet of this device. Otherwise, it just crashed and it would crash. I'd open the app and say, it'd say that it lost connection and then it reconnect as I got closer and the meat was way off. So planning on being near the grill, the iGrill 2 is great. You're gonna be close by, it's, it's a great device. And it was only like 100 bucks. The dilemma I ran into is as I started doing these longer cooks, I'm not gonna stand by my grill for 16 hours. And that's one of the things I talked about in my Yoder review is that's why I went with the Yoder. It monitors the temperature for me, giving me the flexibility to go out and live life while the meat is cooking. So what I found is I started to do more longer cooks and I was getting better at using the grill was as I got 20 to 30 feet away, the eye grill was just dropping off. The only connection was Bluetooth via a phone. So in doing more research, and I, I mention all things barbecue all the time, I came across this new uh, company that makes a device called the Fireboard. And the Fireboard is remarkable. So it also works on Bluetooth, but it also has Wi-Fi capabilities and their infrastructure has a cloud-based setup where when you set it up and when you log into your account, it connects initially to Bluetooth but uses the settings in your phone to recognize Wi-Fi. And if your phone gets out of that Bluetooth range, it then continues to monitor via the cloud. So I could put these meat probes in, go to the grocery store to get all my side dishes and anything else I need for the cookout or whatever I'm 
I'm cooking for and log into this app and I constantly can see what the temperature is at. I can set alarms from highs to lows that will either notify me in the app, I can put in my cell phone number and get a text notification and get an email notification and it saves this all. So when I turn off, when I'm done cooking, it stores what happened in the cloud. So I can go back to old cooks. Let's say I did a brisket and it turned out all right. And I can see that there were some, when I was opening the hood to spray the brisket down, I was losing temperature or something happened during the cook. I can go back and look at that and know what happened. Or I, I document the weight of the, the meat when I put it on so I know how long I cooked it for. Maybe it wasn't done enough or it was overdone. I can go back and evaluate this stuff, which is phenomenal. You didn't have that, that ability with the iGrill too. You turned it off and everything went away and you start from scratch every time. So the Fireboard has been absolutely phenomenal. It's, I think, for a grill, like the Yoder or smoker like the Yoder, it's perfect because you're probably not going to sit within 20 to 30 feet of this smoker for the entire time you're doing these long cooks. You're going to walk away and this gives you the ability to know that if something changes that you need to know about within the meat or the grill, you're going to get a notification about it. I really, I can't say enough positive things about the Fireboard as a device, as a temperature probe. It's it's just been phenomenal. I'm gonna get stopped. I'm gonna add some more in here from home. So I'm home and I real briefly wanted to show you the devices in person. I personally like to see devices and have an idea what they look like, any specifics about them. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is the iGrill 2, which is this device here. It's two pieces, runs on batteries, uh, sits into this dock and it, you can see it's pretty solid. On the back it's magnetized. It also has a spot you can stick it to something if you wanted and just remove the device. In the bottom it's got four ports so you can plug temperature probes and ambient probes, whatever you want. This is the iGrill. It's pretty straightforward for somebody that's going to be near their grill that's going to not go far. The temperature probes are really accurate. The ambient probes are really accurate. This is one of the temperature probes here. Um, one of the things you can see is it's got this piece up here. That gets really gunked up with food, really difficult to clean. It comes on this nice little holder that clips in the probe and wraps the cable. So I like that for the cable management. The ambient probe is not very much different. Same design, not bad. Um, again, it's, it's a solid device. It works well. And then, there's this monster, the Fireboard, which is a beast of a device. And again, I hate when people unpack stuff and show me everything. And I'll give you a couple looks. It comes with the probes wrapped up. My only complaint is these zip ties are so damn tight around these cables. I'm afraid I'm gonna cut a cable trying to get them off. But it comes with a ton of probes, so I have one, two, three, I think I have six temperature probes and one ambient probe. So two ambient probes, I apologize. So it is just, it's a monster of a device. So when you fire it on, it has its own app. It's Bluetooth and Wi-Fi based. Um, so as soon as you turn it on, you connect it to your phone. It's very intuitive when you connect it to your phone. It uses the settings in your phone to connect Bluetooth and then ultimately connect to your Wi-Fi. If you're connected to your Wi-Fi in your house, just like some of these other apps, it recognizes what the settings are for that Wi-Fi and it downloads that stuff into your phone. Ultimately, if you want something inexpensive, you're gonna be near your grill, you're gonna be close by the entire time, you don't mind it cutting out, the iGrill 2 is a great device. I can't knock it, it did what it, I needed it to do when I was here. If you're someone that wants the flexibility to go a little bit further away from the grill, you wanna be able to go back and reflect on different smokes you've done, export that data into some kind of smoking journal, 
this is absolutely the device to go to. The other thing that would be nice about this is if you had two smokers going on or a smoker and a grill and you wanted to have probes going all over the place, this will allow you to do that. I don't know ever use six, but they're there. I'd rather have the extra ports and not need them than not have them and wish I did. So that's it. Hopefully uh, this is helpful. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment and I'll get back to you if I can. Thanks for checking in. Yes, to date, my YouTube, YouTube is gonna haunt me forever. It's always gonna be in back of my mind. If you watch my other videos, I always wanna say YouTube. It's gonna kill me. Every outtake is probably gonna have YouTube in it somewhere.